in this short video we will see how an autocorrelation can be tested using SPSS. Autocorrelation is one of the assumptions of regression. It normally occurs in the model when the observations of a series are correlated with each other. Uh, so if the model, if any model has autocorrelation, it makes the regression results spurious, false, right? So it is very important to first detect whether the model has autocorrelation or not. And if the model has autocorrelation, we must have to remove it. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to tell you how it can be tested using SPSS. So first of all, we have to run regression model. For that, go to analyze, regression and linear. Okay, so these are the variables I'm going to use. Uh, here, brand equity is dependent variable and rest of the variables are independent. So I'm moving it into the independent box. Okay, now go to statistics. And here you can see under the heading of residual, Durban Watson. Basically, this is the measure of autocorrelation. With the help of Durban Watson statistics, we will be able to detect autocorrelation in the model. So check Durban Watson, press continue and press OK. OK, here are the results. These are regression results. And as you can see in the model summary table, the last column, you can see Durban Watson value. OK, so what is this value all about and what it says? First, we have to see the benchmark and then we will interpret the result. Let's see the benchmark. Durban Watson is an indicator of autocorrelation. With the help of Durban Watson statistics, we will be able to identify whether the regression model has autocorrelation or not. So if the value of Durban Watson is equals to two, it means there is no autocorrelation in the model. But if the value is greater than two, there is an autocorrelation, but it is negative autocorrelation. And when the value is lesser than two, it means the model has positive autocorrelation. As you can see uh, this interval, if you have exact two value, it means there is no autocorrelation problem in the model and we can proceed. But when the value is greater than two, it is in between two to four. It means it has negative autocorrelation. And when it is in between 0 to 2, the model has positive autocorrelation. So let's see the output. OK, so here are the results. And in the model summary table, as you can see, uh, the last column, Durban Watson value is equals to 2.012. It means the value is exact 2. So we can conclude that there is no autocorrelation problem in the model. And we can proceed with the regression results. So this is the way we can detect autocorrelation from the model using SPSS software.